What's going on everybody? This is the E-Bike Guy channel. This is your boy, the E-Bike Guy. And today, I got a special one for y'all. Well, I'm going to tell y'all. A company just reached out to me and they wanted me to do a review on an e-bike helmet. So, you know me, I'm happy to oblige no saying to do it. And today, that's what this video is all about. And you know me, I really don't do helmets. Uh, in particular, you know me, I grew up riding dirt bikes, uh, ATVs, stuff like that without helmets and everything. And so, they, like I say, they reached out to me and they wanted me to do a review on their helmet. So, um, I was wanting to try it out anyways. And I know a lot of y'all was getting on to me about wearing helmets. And, yeah, I'm going to, I'm going I'm to start wearing one because I, 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 I see the importance of wearing one, you know what I mean? But, um, I'll tell y'all about that later. So, let's just go ahead and I'll uh, get right to the chase. So without further ado, we're gonna go ahead and uh, get this uh, review on the on the way. And here it is, y'all. Look at this. So this what came in the mail. This is an X Nito helmet. It's for uh, rated for e-bikes. It's the old school collection. Um, it's rated to about um, up to 28 miles an hour uh, for y'all um, class three uh, e-bikes. But um, any any bike can you know can wear this. Any person can get this helmet and wear it. You know I me, mean? but it just rated for like stronger. It's just more, a little bit more stronger uh, protection, so that way you 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 happen to crash or anything, um, this right here is going to protect you. So, anyway, so it's the NTA eighty eighty seven seventy six. So here's the, here's what's um on the side of the box right here, and uh, so it has the uh, integrated front and rear LED headlight, which I really like. Um, it's lightweight, so it's, it's so it's good lightweight and everything. And said, like I said, designed for um, higher speeds and e-bikes and just moisture, you know, like when you're having to sweat and everything. Um, so, so yeah, this is this is a good this is going to be a good helmet. Um, and I feel I feel excited to to try this out and everything. Like I say, y'all, I mean, I'm not like I said, I'm not a helmet guy, but I'm gonna go ahead and I'll uh, get us a try, and we're gonna open up the. Uh, uh, the contents and see what we have in the box and now I need to remind you now if you go on their website if you go on their website they have a lot of variety of helmets no thing you got the urban knight you got the logan on um, the lightning the goal the valkyrie disco and hemp uh i kind of i kind of like the lightning um because it's like an all like a grayish white you know what I mean? but um like here they sent me this logan style so this is the Logan headlight, um, I mean helmet. So what we have in the box is the uh, the wrapping. So you're gonna have a uh, your charging cable. So here's your um, charging cable right here. It's a USB. Um, I think it's the the uh, the older Android USB uh, charger. We're gonna show you how to charge that up. So we have like a um, thank you card. And then I think it's the owner's manual. So that's the owner's manual. And it comes with a visor. Now that's one thing I like about this helmet because it has a, it comes with an actual visor. So, you know, we live in these sunny climates like Florida. Uh, we can actually hook this visor up to it and that'll take a lot of that um, heat off our little noggins, you know. So, and here is the helmet. So as you can see, now this is a nice helmet. As you can see, I, I kind of like I like the blue. It's my favorite color. It's blue, anyways. So you see, uh, um, you have your front front LED headlight, and then you have the one in the back. So this is the rear um, light, your tail light, and then you have a charging your charging port at the bottom, and then you have your little um, your three mode switch and power all together. And um, so you have a adjustable strap that's right here. So you count it clockwise and tighten it counterclockwise, and you loosen it up. I kind of like that. It reminds me of my um, my uh, welding helmet, so I'm kind of used to that. And then you have your scraps right here, and then this it looks I mean pretty high quality. Now this was what's going to go up on your chin right here, so you're gonna you can move that up and down. That just keeps some uh, keep your chin nice and um, soft. I mean, not too hard on your chin and everything. So, so if you're interested in purchasing one of these uh, helmets from X Nito, um, I'm gonna have the link in the description. And if you use the um, the code eBike guy, you can actually save ten percent off on your purchase of a, a nice helmet, uh, no matter which one you get. And that also will help the channel too. So um, 
So I'm, so just go on now, use the promo code uh, e -bike guy, so you can save some money on these helmets, you know what I mean, 10%. So so that, that that's all I'm saying about that. And all right, so let's go ahead and show you how to charge it. Now, the only, the only reason, the only little gripe about, um, you know, charging it is that this flap is a little bit small because I have small, uh, I had cut myself building the battery. But anyways, I have small nails, so uh, you really have to get up on it and hit that flap a little bit, and so you can open it, and that right there will, will reveal the um, charging port. So let me go ahead and try to get that open. All right, so we got the flap open, and as you can see, is that there's the charging port. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how we charge that bad boy. And here is the charging, here is the charging cable, but I have one already on my PS5 over there. So we're gonna go ahead and use the uh, charging cable from there and by the way this helmet is very light very light that I noticed so we're gonna put the uh, helmet on the PS5 and we're gonna charge it all right so right now the uh, helmet is charging up right now so you have a blinking red light to indicating that the uh, helmet is charging and when it's done charging, you will see a green light on the other side to let you know that it's done charging or charging is complete. And um, so I'm gonna let the helmet charge up because I'm gonna be doing some night riding videos with this helmet on. And uh, we're going to uh, be putting the visor on. So I'm gonna show you how to do that if you want the visor on and off. But um, I'm gonna show you how to do the uh, visor, okay? And I'll get back with you. All right, so now since the uh, helmet is stopped charging everything, charge is complete. I'm going to be showing y'all how to remove the uh, painting that's in here, and we're going to be putting this uh, this visor in, okay? Okay. So inside the helmet or inside the box right here, um, you also get um, a set of sticky pads, and here's a total of five of them right here, okay? So these are just extra ones in case you lose the ones that's not inside this helmet. So in order to um, put the visor on, come around here. Let me show you. Uh, look, you see, look, Toy, you see uh, my videos right there. <laughs> so, make sure you got it. Make sure you got it. Yeah. Okay. So, what you, you want to you want to carefully move this this here inner padding right here. Not so close, huh? Yeah. Just carefully move it, and you can see here's the sticky pads, the Velcro. So you just want to just remove that out of the way, and you want to put that like in a safe place where you won't lose it. And then now we're gonna um, put our visor on now because I like this I like the visor so that's why I want this on so we're gonna be putting that on so here we are we're gonna put our um our visor in and you want to do it this the um the fuzzy side and you want to do it towards the velcro um the sticky pads okay so I already knew how to do that I know son but I was just telling the audience that's watching that you that they want to do that because. I know that's how that's how we do it. So right here, you got to show inside the helmet, son. Not so close. Not close. <laughs> Jesus Christ. So it's a little hard at first, though. But you gotta let's see here. You gotta want. You gotta look right here. Yeah. So it's a little bit hard at first, but I probably start right in the middle. Start right in the middle and then work your way around. Just like that. And do the same side. Yeah, it probably is ready. Oh, I think there's one more over here, Daddy. Mm, it's good. See? Daddy. Hmm? You need these for that one. No no no. They, they mount like this. So we have we have the um we have the mount in. I mean the uh the visor in, as you can see. Like I was saying, the uh, this side uh, facing outwards um, towards your noggin, mm -hmm. and the inside the, is the fuzzy part. So now let's see how it, let's see how it fits on the uh, on my head. So what I like the, what I like about this helmet is that it does have the visor, so so the sun won't be glaring down on your eyes and everything, and it keeps it keeps some shade on your forehead, so that so you won't be um, sweating and. And this right here does absorb a little bit of sweat, you know what I mean? So, so you can actually can detach it, throw it in the washing machine, whatnot, you know what I'm saying, to clean it. Or you can clean it by hand if you don't want to wash the washing machine. And then here's your, chin, your little chin strap right here. Make sure you've got the chin strap on. 
-hmm. And then we got a quick release, uh, quick release scrap. So all we're gonna do is tighten it up and we're ready to go. So what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be doing a little just a ride video of how it feels, uh, the helmet feels on my head and everything. Like I say, this is basically an unbiased type of review because no matter what helmet I get, you know what I'm saying, I just didn't like them. But ever since I got this helmet right here and especially the visor, and the way it fits on my head, especially when you on, you, it has the adjusted, the adjustability in the back, it really tightens up. And as you can see right here, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a huge fan of this right here, so I, I like that, especially the integrated uh, LED lights right here. So I love that right now, and I'm, 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 I'm excited to try this at nighttime when me, when me, when me and E-Bike Kid go uh, night riding. We're gonna see how this bad boy works at, um, at night. So yeah bike kid trying out it's it's too big for him but he said he is pretty good <laughs> all right so he said he wants one so we're gonna i'm gonna try to get him one though <laughs> as you see i got the uh x needle helmet on as you can see i like the uh the visor right here this is a nice touch right here so we're gonna go ahead and um do a bit of riding on it and tell you my thoughts and everything about this helmet so let's get to it now what you say now really I know. <laughs> yeah, first time wearing the helmet, huh? I think it's actually pretty decent. I, think I like the visor, though. Oh, that's the visor? I thought you had a hat. You can remove this. No, you can remove this right here and put the regular pattern on there. And it'll have the visor, but then you can remove this. Yeah. I like the lights on it. Oh, yeah. I like Somebody can tell that you actually, you know how they always have a light on the bike? Uh-huh. Yeah. So I like that. Yeah. You know, added what? So anyways, uh yeah, she she likes it. I look I mean <clears throat> now the, the reason why I say this video is a little bit um unbiased because as me I don't I don't like you know I don't like you know wearing helmets, you know what I mean? So so but this particular helmet right here from X Nito, it kinda it kinda growing on me because I like the I like the visor look. It's a little bit comfortable because I tried helmets. I tried other helmets from department stores on um, like Walmart and, and um, you know, when you put it on, it feels kind of, it actually feels kind of uncomfortable. Like it's hard. It feels like you're wearing a, it feels like you're wearing a, a, a construction hat ready to go to work in the morning. You know what I mean? That's the kind of um, feeling that you get when you're wearing those type of helmets. You know, I know they're a little cheap and everything, but you know, it doesn't have as much um, padding as it does this one does right here. So that was my little two cents. And then uh, we're gonna do a little uh, night ride test. Uh, we're gonna see how the uh, we're gonna actually see how the lights do at night. Um, see how um, it, uh, the visibility is about it. Uh, but as of right now, this is a good this is a good uh, helmet to get, especially if you are um, riding an e-bike. Uh, like I say, this is for you can you can buy this helmet uh, with just by any type of uh, riding you're doing, as uh, far as bicycling goes, skateboarding, uh, like I say, um, e-biking and uh, stuff like that. So uh, this is, but this is really good um, protection and everything. I'll be considering, I'm, uh, especially when I be doing uh, night rides. I, I will, I love this helmet, especially when I be doing night rides and everything. Like I gotta go uh, a late run to Walmart. Or if I had to go to Dollar General or something like that and, and, and have to get something in a hurry, I could put this helmet on, turn the lights on, and, I'm, and I got a lot of um, visibility. Even though I got my head and tail lights, um, having this, having a little bit more visibility on you, it's, it's really a peace of mind to let you know that you, you're going to be spotted by the motorists on the, uh, on the bike lane. So that's a, that's a key note about this helmet. Like I say, uh, if y'all really interested, I'm going to leave a link in the description. Uh, and you can use my promo code, the e-bike guy, and that way you can save 10% off on this helmet. But other than that, and y'all hear from me, like I say, being being a person that doesn't wear helmets, just had to try it on, you know, and I'm like, I mean, I was skeptical at first. I'm like, man, I, I really don't, you know, I really don't do helmets, but I, I mean, I got to get it because then, you know, the wife was talking about it and everything, and uh, then uh, most of my scribe was talking about it, I said, well, and then this came this came in through the mail and i'm like well okay here we go shoot let me let me go ahead and try it out then so so here i am doing my little ride and um 
like I say, my my peoples never saw me with a helmet on, you know, when I go bike ride. So it's kind of it's kind of new to them. Like, man, <laughs> I you look crazy though. But like I say, man, this I'm what really sells it is the visor. I mean, I, I love the visor to it, man. It is because it makes I wouldn't say like gangster, but it just makes it look a lot more. I don't know, man. It just it just it's kind of like my style, you know. But uh, anyways, so anyways, like I say, the strap helps out. You know what I mean? It fits snug on your head and everything. And uh, this is a really, this is a, a really good darn helmet. You know what I mean? Not, not, and I recommend it to a lot of people. So what we gonna do? Uh, I'm going to my buddy's house so I can uh, give them this. I'm gonna see their reactions uh, about me wearing this helmet. You know, cause you know they kind of like you know they wanted to see it too for themselves. And I think they got. <laughs> ah, look. <laughs> yeah. Doing a review. I said I'm doing a review on the helmet. <laughs> I like the visor. Looks cool. Huh? Looks cool. Yeah. Looks like a hat. Huh? I know. They dropped out of me. Or it came out? Yeah, it came out. So yeah, I was just doing a review on the helmet and everything, and uh, I kind of like it though. Oh man, yeah, I'm gonna do a night ride on it though, man. I think I think it's uh, yeah. Is that the only gripe about it? Just that when you have small nails, you gotta. What hmm? you think, my too? So that's about it though. But really liking it though. Is that your boys? No, it's mine. Yeah, just doing a review on it. All right, so I got the I got the battery here. Something's wrong with this battery. I'm gonna check it out. They just uh, we just built it, and um, it seems like it had a short in it somewhere. So we're gonna go back to the house and uh, check it out. But anyways, uh, they like the helmet. It looks cool. It looks it looks modern though, and uh, I, I kind of I, I really like it too. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go and do a quick. Uh, night test on it and just see how the lights work on it. So stay tuned for that part right quick and um, and then let me know what y'all think about that part. Alright, so here it is. We're at night time guys and we're going to be testing out the lighting system on the X-Needle helmet. So here we are. We got the um, the power button slash uh, mode switch. So we're going to go ahead and go through the um, do all the modes and everything on the uh, helmet. So we're gonna first turn it on. You got your fast strobe, and this and this headlight stays um stays lit, okay? So don't now the only safety about this helmet that I like about this lighting system is that when you're going over hills and everything, the motors will actually see you before you see them. So we're gonna turn on the lighting system on my bike. And uh, we're gonna go. We're gonna go down the um down the road, come back, and we're going to cycle through the switches right quick, okay? So tell me what y'all think about the switches. I'm gonna turn the bike on first. Alright, here we go. Alright, so that's the first switch, that's the first mode right there. Now we're gonna go ahead and switch it to the uh, steady. Uh, light mode, which you press again, and as you can see, it has to stay in light mode. So now we're going to go and try that. All right, so now that was on uh, mode number two. Now we're going to go to mode three. And that should be like a little slow strobe effect on, on the light and everything. And we're gonna um, give this a little test. Tell me how you look about that. All right, so we just went through all the three modes of this, uh, of this helmet. And then we press it again to turn it off. And there we go. So we had turned it off and everything. So tell me what y'all think about those um, those modes. Which one y'all like best? All right. So that is the review of this uh, X Needle helmet. 
Uh, this is the Logan helmet right here. Um, my final thoughts is I really like the visor uh, on the helmet. It just makes it look more like myself, you know what I mean? Um, like I say, you can swap this out with the original one, which is right here, as you can see, and then you just um, take this out and put this in, put this one on. But um, my only really complaints is that um, when you get ready to charge it, is that, um, see, I don't have no nails, so um, it's very hidden. It's very um, hidden within the uh, within the light itself, so um, you have to kind of really dig into it just to open the flap to charge the um, the battery that's inside the uh, helmet. But uh, that's about it, though. Uh, very light. I like it. Doesn't feel like a construction hat. Um, and I'm me being a person that doesn't doesn't wear helmets. I'm um, this is gonna be the first one I'm gonna ever wear. You know what I mean? So, yeah. Like I say, um, if you are interested in it, um, I have a link in the description, and you can use my promo code, which is uh, the e-bike guy, and you can save ten percent off on your purchase of the um, new helmet. And they have a variety of helmets to choose from, from the Logan um, to the Gull, the Valkyrie. Um, the lightning and so and, and, and some more um, varieties of helmets and colors to choose from. But um, anyway, so this is the review of the X Needle helmet. Um, leave, let me know what y'all think in the comments. And this is your boy E-Bike Guy, and I'll see you in the next one.